how much of a factor has this been for the Fed in turning towards a kind of patient approach to monetary policy? And what's your base case on that? And on the size of the uh, balance sheet, um, what's your, do you have a numerical estimate for where it will be at the end of September once the runoff is complete? So of course we're, we're watching uh, Brexit carefully and, and, um, and hoping that it can be resolved in an orderly way. Um, from our standpoint, the part of it that we can control is uh, that we've been um, involved with supervising our, our financial institutions that are active either in the United Kingdom or the European Union or both to make sure that they're ready for the full range of possible outcomes uh, to, the, to Brexit. So, and uh, in doing so, uh, we've, also had, uh, we've also worked alongside regulators from the United Kingdom and the EU. So um, we do, uh, again, hope that, that that can be resolved well. But we, we, we know that our banks um, are well capitalized and resilient to different kinds of events. Um, in terms of the size of the balance sheet, uh, yeah. oh, the balance sheet will be of a size of approximately 17 percent of GDP around the end of this year, down from 25 percent of GDP in, uh, at the end of 2014. So significantly smaller relative to GDP, GDP than it was. I'm guessing you, you're looking for a dollar number, though, probably. And that would be, so for the size of the balance sheet, it, it looks like it'll be a, a bit above 3.5 trillion then. 